Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be going through how you draw an aerofoil in Shaper 3D. Uh, so just to get started, I'm going to draw a sketch on the front plane. So I'm going to go up to the view cube, click front. So now I'm looking at the front plane with my Z axis looking up and my X axis looking in the horizontal. And I'm going to go up to sketch. And then I'm going to go to arc. I'm going to click on the origin point. Just randomly click on the z-axis and there. So I've got an, um, an arc now at 9.5 radius, 180 degrees. So I need to change that. So I'll just move that up. So what I want is an 18 radius arc. Oops, not 163, 18. And then move the points where I want them so click that back on the origin lock that put that back in line with the origin as well and press the little padlock to lock that one and pull it round so it's in line and lock that one as well so now I'll just keep my finger on controls zoom out a little bit and now I'm going to draw a straight line at 300 on the x-axis so it's 85 so let's change that to 300 Zoom out a little more, and then we're going to do an arc from that point to that point, and kick it up as far as it'll go on the radius, so that's there is 13.6. So there I have my first sketch what I need, so what I'm going to do is close the sketch, and I'm going to come out, and I'm going to go back into an isometric view. I'm going to highlight the sketch, and we're going to move it um, one Oh no, well, not sorry, a thousand. I'm going to move it five, minus 500. So let's zoom out a little more so you can see if it will let me. There you go. So now I've got one sketch that I've moved away from the x axis at 500 mil away. So now I'm going to come out of that move and I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to go to the front plane and we'll go to sketch. And now I'm going to draw a very similar shape. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. But this time I'm going to do from there 150 straight line. And then make sure that's on the x-axis. Come out of that, press escape. And then I'm going to do the same style of circle, two points out. You nearly got it right in one, 18 radius. And then I'm going to do an arc from there to there. And then pull it up to, so that one's 26 degrees. It's the maximum it'll let me. So if I come out of that, oops, just escape from that, come out of that sketch, and then go to an isometric view again. Zoom out. Oops. Sorry about that. Right, so go to an isometric view again and zoom out. I have now got two sketches 500 mil away from each other that are two profiles that are uh, one slightly smaller than the other. So to make the aerofoil now, I'll go to add, not sorry, add, go to tools, and then we're going to go to loft. And we're going to select the first one, select the sketch, select the second sketch, and tick done. And as easy as that, you have a very simple aerofoil shape that you can use on a model plane or something like that, depending on what you're after. If you want to 3D print it for a, and do some tests on it for a project at school or uni, uh, you can always edit my dimensions and make it into a slightly better shape than you want. But this is the best way to 3D model an aerofoil uh, it's with a couple of arcs and a loft. I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel to support. All support's appreciated. And thanks for watching.